One, the Honorable Barton R. Voigt presiding. The court is in session. Aaron McKinney. During the trial of Aaron McKinney, the prosecution played a tape recording of his confession. My name is Rob Debris, sergeant for the sheriff's office. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and may be used against you in a court of law. The following is an excerpt of that confession. Okay, so you guys, you and Russ, go to the fireside. So you're at the fireside by yourselves, right? Yeah. Okay. Where do you go after you leave the fireside? Some kid wanted a ride home. What's he look like? Mm, like a queer. Such a queer dude. He looks like a queer? Yeah, like a fag, you know? How did you meet him? He said he wanted a ride home. I thought, well, the dude's drunk, let's just take him home. When did you and Russ talk about jacking him up? We sort of talked about it at the bar. Okay, what happened next? We drove him out past Walmart. Uh, we get over there and he starts grabbing my leg. I was like, look, I'm not a faggot. Touch me again and you're gonna get it. I don't know what the hell he was trying to do, but I beat him up pretty bad. I think I killed him. What did you beat him with? Blacked out. Uh, my fists, my pistol, uh, the, the butt of the gun. Wondering what happened to me. I, I had a few beers and I don't know, it was like, I could see what was going on, but it was like, I don't know, it was like somebody else was doing it. When that defense team argued that McKinney did what he did because Matt made a pass at him, I just wanted to vomit because that's like saying it's okay. It's like the Twinkie defense when that guy killed Harvey Milk and Moscone. Same thing. As much as a part of me didn't want the defense of them saying that it was a, a gay bashing or that it was a gay panic, part of me was really grateful because I was really scared that they were going to try and say that it was just a robbery or, or that it was about drugs. Did he ever try to defend himself against you or try to hit you back? He tried his little swings or whatever, but uh, he wasn't very effective. How many times did you hit him inside the truck before you stopped where you left him? I'd say I hit him about uh, two or three times, probably, probably three times with my fists and about six times with a pistol. Did he ask you to stop? Well, yeah, he was getting the shit kicked out of him. What did he say? After he asked me to stop, most all he was doing was screaming. So, Russ kind of dragged him over to the fence, I'm assuming, and tied him up? Something like that. I just remember Russ was laughing at first, but then he got pretty scared. Was Matthew conscious when Russ tied him up? Yeah. I told him to turn around and don't look at my license plate number because I was scared he would tell the police. And then I asked him what my license plate said. He read it, and that's why I hit him a few more times. Just to be sure. So, obviously, you don't like gay people. No, I don't. Would you say you hate them? I don't really hate them, but when they start coming on to me and stuff like that, I get pretty aggravated. Did he threaten you? This gay dude? Yeah. Not really. Can you answer me one thing? Why did you guys take his shoes? I don't know. Now I'll never get to see my son again. I don't know. You'll probably go to court sometime today. Today? So I'm just gonna go in there and plead guilty or not guilty today? No. You're just going to be arraigned today. He's gonna die for sure. There is no doubt that Mr. Shepard is going to die. So what are they gonna give me? 25 to life or, or just the death penalty and get it over with? Well, that's not our job. That's the judge's job and the jury. The verdict. Has the jury reached a verdict? We have, Your Honor. We, the jury, impaneled and sworn to try the above entitled case, after having well and truly tried the matter, unanimously find as follows. As the charge of kidnapping, we find the defendant, Aaron James McKinney, guilty. As the charge of aggravated robbery, we find the defendant, 
Aaron James McKinney guilty as the charge of first degree felony murder kidnapping. We find the defendant, Aaron James McKinney, guilty as the Aaron charge McKinney of first degree felony murder. Aaron McKinney was found guilty of felony murder, which meant the prosecution McKinney could give him the death penalty. That evening, my family was approached by McKinney's defense team who pled for their client's life. The prosecution indicated that they would de defer the decision as to whether or not to pursue the death penalty to my family. The following morning, my father made a statement to the court. Here is some of what he said. My son, Matthew, did not look like a winner. He was rather uncoordinated and wore braces from the age of 13 until the day he died. <coughs> However, in his all too brief life, Matthew proved that he was a winner. On October 6th, 1998, my son tried to show the world that he could win again. On October 12th, 1998, my firstborn son and my hero lost. On October 12th, 1998, my firstborn son and my hero died 50 days before his 22nd birthday. I keep wondering the same things that I did when I first saw him in the hospital. What would he have become? How could he have changed his piece of the world to make it better? Matt officially died in a hospital in Fort Collins, Colorado, but Matt actually died on the outskirts of Laramie, tied to a fence. You, Mr. McKinney, with your friend, Mr. Henderson, left him out there by himself. But he wasn't alone. He had his lifelong friends with him. Friends that he'd grown up with. You're probably wondering who these friends were. First, he had the beautiful night sky with the same stars and moon that we used to see through a telescope. And then he had the daylight and the sun to shine on him. And through it all, he was breathing in the scent of the pine trees from the snowy range. He felt the wind, the ever-present Wyoming wind for the last time. He had one more friend with him. He had God. And I feel better knowing that he wasn't alone. Matt's beating, hospitalization and funeral has focused worldwide attention on hate. Good is coming out of evil. People have said enough is enough. I miss my son, but I am proud to be able to say that he is my son. Judy has been quoted as being against the death penalty. It has been stated that Matt was against the death penalty. Both of these statements are wrong. Matt believed that there were crimes and incidents that justified the death penalty. I too believe in the death penalty. I would like nothing better than to see you die, Mr. McKinney. However, now is the time to begin the healing process. To show mercy to someone who refused to show any mercy. Mr. McKinney, I'm going to grant you life as hard as it is for me to do so because of Matthew. Every time you celebrate Christmas, a birthday, the 4th of July. Remember that Matt isn't. 
Every time you wake up in your prison cell, remember that you had the ability and the opportunity to stop your actions that night. You robbed me of something very precious, and I will never forgive you for that. Mr. McKinney, I give you life and the memory of someone who no longer lives. May you have a long life, and may you thank Matthew every day for it. Aftermath. Me and Debris hugged and cried, and everybody had tears.